Hey, good morning, everyone. My name's Jared. I'm one of the founders of Two Lands Token. Doing what I call a little morning casual coffee chat. Cheers to everyone. Um, I'm a Starbucks fan. I don't know about you guys. It's one of my guilty pleasures, so I hope we can still be friends. But every morning I tend to get a grande dark roast black. That's my thing, and I don't like to start the day without it. Um, some people are Dunkin' fans, like my wife and my daughter. Actually, I shouldn't say that. My daughter, believe it or not. Did you know that Starbucks has a secret menu? They do. There's an app. And she loves to torture them. Well, subconsciously, she doesn't realize she is. But she loves to torture them and get what's called a grasshopper. Go look it up. It's pretty good, actually. I've tasted it. It's got chocolate chips in it. But all these things that take 10 extra steps when the line is 40 people deep. But anyway, sorry to digress. It's a rainy... Kind of cloudy, rainy Tuesday, and uh, doing a bunch of things today regarding the token. Um, man, this weather is just, it seems like, I know April, you know, April showers bring May flowers, but it seems like it's just been raining almost every day here. I feel like I'm in Seattle. Hmm. That being said, Seattle, grunge bands, 90s. Anyone have a favorite band? Pearl Jam, you know, Soundgarden. There's so many good ones. Sunny Day Real Estate, Nirvana. It's kind of my high school days. We're living the past a bit here. What's your favorite? I'd say, honestly, mine is Sunny Day Real Estate, without question. Jeremy Enoch, the singer, songwriter, uh, one of my favorite artists of all times. I highly recommend not only check out his solo work, but The Rising Tide is definitely my favorite Sunny Day Real Estate album. So go, go check that out. But anyways, the point about the rain is I got to deal with some lawyers today, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But the reason why is due to the quote of the day. Now, I tend to like to do quotes. I'm, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of quotes. I feel like you can get into someone, whoever the author's moral fiber, and really get into how they were raised and who they are as people by as little as one sentence. So that said, the quote of the day is, rules are made or are meant to be broken, however you want to. It's been, it's been said in very different variations, but rules are meant to be broken. It's been traced back to the Dalai Lama, Pablo Picasso, most recently General, uh, General MacArthur. That's probably the one that we all think of as rules are made to be broken. But anyways, how's that? how does that apply to me today? Well, today, I'm dealing with SEC rules and regulations so that Two Lands Token can be SEC compliant, or at least as much as possible before we before we do a public launch. Um, why? Well, we feel it's important. Um, you know, there's not a lot of regulation yet within the crypto space, right? But we know it's coming. It's, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. So for us, you know, we've been very focused on making sure we do everything right from the beginning. So that said, we're treating this um, IDO or ICO like any other regular IPO. And with that, we want to make sure um, that everything and all our investors and, and everyone, future investors, are protected. Just like uh, the, you know, the SEC, the Securities Exchange Commission, does the same for any other investor you know, in the states. Um, that said, probably in the next year, year and a half, two years, I imagine there's going to be new rules and regulations from the SEC cracking down on cryptos a bit. And that's a good thing. And the reason why it's a good thing is because it's going to it's going to mean there's mass adoption in the community, right? And what happens when there's mass adoption? That means the market cap is going to go up across the board, which is essentially going to bring up all the, all, you know, all the altcoins and the, you know, the stable coins and, and all that fun stuff. People like my parents, who are going to be playing pickleball down in Florida, are going to diversify. You know, their, um, you know, their financial advisors at Smith Barney or wherever, you know, are going to tell them, hey, you got to have X amount of money. Uh, in crypto in your portfolio to diversify, so right? So what that means is more people are gonna be coming in, which means it's better for all of us. So as much as when the rules and regulations get put into place, you know, the, the, you know, the crypto space might take a little bit of a dip, but then it's gonna balance out. And I think long-term, because of the market gap, it's only gonna be a positive thing, right? Um, so, so that said, yeah, that's what we're focusing on a bit today. Um, we're going to get that taken care of and squared away. We're almost there. There's a couple of more things we need to tweak. Um, it's kind of a fine line because what's funny about it, or I shouldn't say funny, what's interesting about it is that the crypto digital asset world hasn't truly been defined yet from an SEC perspective. So what's going to happen in the next year and a half is kind of, 
it's up in the air because really we, we don't know if they're going to have to, you know, if they're going to try and merge it into rules that they already have outstanding for, for regulations that they already have, or if they're going to have to create a whole new digital asset class, which I imagine they will, and then will some of those rules apply and then other new ones come to light? We just don't know. So for us at Two Lands, we're just making sure if we were a regular IPO, what steps would we need to take and put in place to make sure everyone's protected and that uh, you know our foundation truly is is built uh, you know on the sturdiest um, you know building blocks possible. So that's kind of where we're at today. Um, a lot going on this week as well. I just thought I'd give you a little update. Um, that's all I got. I'm driving. So. Um, before I get into an accident here, I better sign off. So that said, get out there, help someone today, do something positive for the world. If this video added any value or you feel like any more might, appreciate it if you like it, subscribe, maybe take a snapshot, put it on your refrigerator, whatever you gotta do. Anyways, thanks guys, we'll talk soon, be well. Have a great Tuesday.